is Gio. I am the fun of Granada.com. Um, we're going to make this video today to discuss how do you get ranked on Rivals on 24-7 and our website. Uh, joining me today is Garen, who runs our high school operations, and I'm going to give him a quick moment to introduce himself. How are you doing? This is Coach Garen Vega. I'm a 10-year high school coach out of California and have been recruiting since 2012 helping students get to the next level. Looking forward to sharing some vital information for everybody, for both players and parents, to understand how the recruitment process works and how we evaluate your student athlete. All right, perfect, appreciate you, Gary. All right, how do you earn stars on gridout.com? Rivals are 24 seven, okay? Uh, the video outline, throughout the video, we're gonna be discussing a variety of different things. Uh, the first thing is, uh, attending camps, facing guys who have offers, size, etc. You can go through this list real quick and just kind of have a general idea in terms of what we're going to discuss. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do in order to get ranked on a national website is you want to attend camps, right? Because when you go to 24-7, when you go to Rivals, they all have scouts that are designated to go to specific camps to check guys out. So that is one of the best ways to get into that platform to get seen. Uh, the next thing you want to do is facing guys who have offers, right? For a lot of you guys don't have the money to go to these camps and they can get very, very expensive. So one of the, one of the best ways to do it and ultimately the most old school, the right way to do it is by beating out guys who have those offers, right? And we all have, if you go through your schedule, there's bound to be a guy who has that offer that you want. And the way you do it is you want to put a film against that guy because when coaches are evaluating film, they're going to be checking out the film against the best competition, okay? Next thing is size, height, weight. I know some of you guys are wondering, well, I'm not 6'4", there's nothing I can do about it. But th there is something you can do about your weight, right? So make, making sure that that whatever your height is, managing your weight in accordance to make sure that you, you're reaching your, your full athletic ability, okay? Next thing is your 40 yard dash or overall athletic ability. OK, uh, one of the biggest things that's very underestimated is that when you're a two sport athlete, it's just a lot about you in terms of what kind of athlete you are. Like Kylie Murray, Kylie Murray, uh, tremendous baseball player, tremendous football player. Deion Sanders, he played both professional baseball and professional football. OK, that says a lot in terms of what we're uh, what we're asking here and what we expect out of our uh out of our guys that we evaluate them we just want to look for great athletic ability i mean if you're a great if you're a great football player there should be no reason why you're not being a great football player too uh next thing is just simply knowing the right people right uh i, I know some of you guys play seven on seven those are wonderful ways to get evaluated high school coaches is and that that not that doesn't just mean your own high school coach, right? It also means your opponents as well. Uh, I know when I was a college coach, how I found some guys is I would be at a, visiting at a certain high school and the coach would tell me, hey, you need to check out this guy that we faced week five. Okay, so high school coaches are a tremendous tool to help you get recruited. And the last one is scouts. You know, guys like me or Garen who are able to see you uh, even through Twitter, through Facebook, through Instagram. So just getting your film seen by scouts is a wonderful tool. Okay, the next thing is dominant highlight film. Okay, a perfect example, and you guys can Google this, you guys can YouTube this, is Fotu. Okay, he was out of Steel Coombe High School. Unfortunately, he passed away recently. But if you look at his film, the guy came from a very small high school, right? But he was able to get this national attention because he has such a dominant high school film. Okay, I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, rest in peace, my brother. It was He was a tremendous football player. I know he was a local guy here from nearby Washington where I live. And, uh, you know, he, he's he's the epitome in terms of what a film should look like. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hand things over to Gary now. He's going to talk about how our personal ratings works. And uh, he's going to discuss in terms of what you can do to, to get to those ratings specifically. Thank you for handing me the reins. So here at Great Art, our, I'm going to explain to you how we evaluate the, the student athlete. So we got six different types of rankings. NR for not ranked means that you didn't provide enough film for us to give you the warranted ranking, or you just need further development, which we would prefer that you try the JUCO route. Not to say that, that uh, there's nothing wrong with going the JUCO route. Many greats have went that route and have bounced back into the higher tiers, the higher levels to compete and essentially made it to the NFL. 
uh, for one star. One star is meaning that your your skill set meets the NAIA level or Division three level. That's where we see that you will be successful. Two stars is you have a skill set where it'll translate into success at the D2 level, the FCS level, or a mid-major Division one such as UTEP, New Mexico State, Tulsa, et cetera. Then we have three stars, which is your average D1 recruit. Most of the Division I programs have mostly three-star recruits. Those are the meat and potatoes and of the makeup of the team. Then, for the most part, that's what that's the average player that that is very successful at that level. And then, when you go to the four-star, that's when we get up to the higher tier. You're you're at the elite status. You have a skill set that's above average, and this is where you will most likely be playing for a power five school, so like your Alabamas, your Oklahomas, your Clemsons, your Florida States. And lastly, you got your five star, which is your uncommon skill set, AKA generational talent. This is where you have a skill set where not everybody has. Let's, let's uh, talk about the illustration here with Chase Young. He has the size and he has the speed. Those two combinations translate into someone that is very effective at what they do and their skill set is above everybody. And they end up becoming very successful at the at the college level. All right, Gary, I appreciate you sharing that, okay? Uh, if you guys, as you can tell by looking at the pictures through the illustrations, that you'll see that there has been some extremely successful two, three, and four star prospects, right? Most notably a two star that we have is Russell Wilson. Uh, notable three star is Dak Prescott, notable four-star, is uh, Zeke Elliott, and notable five-star, Chase Young, okay? Now, in no, in no way is your ranking indicative of what you're going to do in the future. So if you get rated an NR and you feel that that's unjust, just there's there's nobody in this world who's going to be more prouder than you, than us, if you prove us wrong in your rating. Okay, so understand that, that in no way are we trying to come after you or 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 uh, be, do we mean it in any kind of vein? So please take it with a grain of salt and know that we have the best interest in you guys and that ultimately we're, we're looking at your film the same way that a coach would. Uh, would. Okay, N next thing. All right, not, last and not least, okay, you want to make sure that you subscribe to our channel and share. Okay, we're going to keep releasing new content and uh, we highly recommend that you subscribe to our channel and just keep following us. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye bye. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. How'd you think I did on that last one?